Whew. I can't even tell you guys how many weird mistakes I made throughout my style journey. I went back and looked at a bunch of old photos of myself and there were just so many things that I thought were cool at the time or I was just kind of trying out and they were bad. They didn't work. It's true that style is absolutely a journey. You've got to learn in order to make it better. But to kind of help you guys out, I put together 10 style mistakes that I personally made in my past so that you don't have to. I'm going to share those with you. And then I'm also going to tell you what to do instead to avoid them. Mistake number one was buying branded. When I was younger, I thought that I had to have everything brand name, whether it was a t-shirt, jeans, a hat, literally everything, I wanted to be Nike. I wanted to be the coolest new trendy brand when in reality, it wasn't important for me to have the nicest, most expensive thing from every category. If you wanna get stuff like a hat or some shoes that are branded, of course that makes sense because they're gonna be a little bit more well-made. So instead of doing that, when you're buying basic tees or solid colored pieces, feel free to buy something that's a little bit more affordable and generic because who really cares what brand it is as long as it fits you the way that you want. Mistake number two is loading up on sale pieces. Oh man, I used to destroy the Zara, Urban Outfitters, H&M sale racks. I would go like once a week and just buy anything that I thought was cool for like $30 or less. And all of a sudden I had a huge closet of tons of clothes, which was really nice, but it was also weird stuff that I thought was cool for like half a second when I was in the store. So I bought it and then I put it on and it fits weird or it doesn't really work with outfits that well. It just wasn't smart to have that big of a wardrobe. And I ended up spending a lot more money in the long run because it was $20 here, $15 here, $30 there, and it added up and I was going broke buying sale pieces. So instead of doing that, be a little bit smarter with how you're spending your money. Sure, hit up the sale rack. If there's something really cool and classic, fantastic, but be sure to look at the rest of the store and buy things that are going to last you a little bit longer that probably fit into your style a lot better as opposed to just grabbing that one cool thing that you found on the sale rack because you think it'll be fun to throw into an outfit one time. Style mistake number three was trying to grow facial hair. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I rarely ever have any facial hair. I've kind of started to grow it a little bit better as I've gotten older, but especially when I was younger and I first really was able to grow even a little bit, I decided, oh, I'm gonna try to grow a beard. I'm gonna try to grow a mustache. And it just did not work for me. And I was not being honest with myself and I should have been. If you can grow facial hair and it looks good on you, fantastic, more power to you, but be willing to sit in the mirror and be honest with yourself that if it's super patchy or it just really doesn't suit your face shape, just be someone who doesn't wear facial hair. Mistake number four is spending too much money on accessories. This one kind of ties back into mistake number one of buying everything branded, but I can remember spending like $125 on some super ugly, Oakley sunglasses, there were like these really round ones. And then like, I'd spend like $300, $400 on some weird watch that I only wore a few different times. So instead of doing that and wasting your money, go buy much more affordable watches from Timex or Seiko and much more affordable eyewear. There are tons and tons of options out there now that still look just as good. And the quality might be a tiny bit worse, but not nearly enough to worry about spending all of that money on designer or on brand names for accessories because odds are they're either gonna go out of style or you're gonna lose them and then that's just money down the drain. Mistake number five is buying a size that you wanna look like as opposed to your actual size. So for me personally, when I was younger, I was a lot skinnier. I was really self-conscious about it. So I would buy my clothes kind of oversized in the hopes that it made me look like I had bigger muscles or that I was bigger, when in reality, it just made me look silly because I was swimming in all of my outfits. But this also applies for you guys who might carry a little bit of extra weight. You're a little bit of a bigger person. Buying smaller clothes that are tighter on you is not going to make you look smaller. It's actually only gonna make you look bigger because everything is so tight on you. Keep this in mind and you'll wear things that fit you the way that they should and it's gonna end up making you look a lot better than trying to either look bigger or look smaller. Just look like you, you look great. Mistake number six is wearing running shoes with jeans. 
I can't believe that I actually used to do this because it's actually a total dad move, but I would wear my Asics or my like traditional running shoes with a pair of my oversized jeans and it was just a really bad look. So instead of wearing a technical running shoe with your jeans, go with another type of athletic sneaker, like a pair of Air Max or something that are a little bit more slim, a little bit more stylish, and that way you're gonna look really good as opposed to looking like a dad and who doesn't know what he's doing. Mistake number seven is avoiding the tailor. For years, I would buy things straight off the rack, whether it was a suit, whether it was trousers, jeans, button down shirts, all the things that are great if you take them to the tailor, I just bought them and assumed that the way they were made was how they were supposed to fit. So I would just wear them that way, having no idea that by going and spending 10 or $15 at the tailor, I could have them almost custom fit to my body type. So instead of doing that and being lazy about taking your clothes to the tailor, especially your suits, go in, talk to the tailor, have them explain to you what they can do to make your clothes fit and be more flattering on you because all that's gonna do is make you more excited to wear them and then when you put them on and they're tailored to you, it's gonna skyrocket your confidence level because they fit so beautifully and they look so nice on. Piggybacking off of the tailor, mistake number eight is buttoning the bottom blazer button. Hopefully by now you guys are aware that you should never, ever, ever button your bottom blazer button. Whether it's a two button, a three button, whatever it is, always keep the bottom one undone. It's a long story as to why it is that way. I can tell you that later if you guys are interested. So instead of doing that and looking honestly like a little bit of an amateur, just keep the bottom button undone and that way you'll always look stylish you won't look like you don't know what you're doing. Mistake number nine is being overly matchy. This is another one that really hits home for me. I cannot tell you how much I used to emphasize matching in my outfits. It's kind of embarrassing. I would wear like a red baseball hat with a red button up shirt and some dark jeans and some red sneakers because I thought it was so cool that I had all these different reds happening in my outfit and it ended up just looking crazy. I had way too much of the exact same color in my outfit. So instead of doing that and looking like a rapper from the early 2000s, go watch my video on color coordination so you can understand how to combine different colors into your outfits and still look really stylish while incorporating color. I don't want you to avoid it, but understanding ways to mix different colors together creates a lot more of a dynamic looking outfit as opposed to turning and seeing a dude that's wearing like royal blue in three different pieces of his outfit. And it's just like, oh, okay, that's too much. Don't do that. And finally, mistake number 10 that I made and I want you to avoid is buying outfits, not a wardrobe. This goes back to a couple of the other ones that we've talked about already, but we've all been there. You go to the mall on a Friday and you pick out an outfit to wear that night and you do that once or twice a month and all of a sudden you look in your closet and you're like, well, that shirt doesn't really work with these pants and those shoes don't really work with this outfit because you're buying specific outfits. Be a lot more intentional instead of doing that when you are shopping and understand that by buying dark jeans and a versatile pair of sneakers and then maybe a white shirt, you're gonna be able to mix and match that with all of the other stuff that's in your closet to get a lot more use out of the clothes that you have and save yourself a bunch of money. I've done videos about this, I will link above as well, but ultimately it's really a lot smarter to create as versatile of a wardrobe as you possibly can because it's just gonna save you money and it's way better. Just do it, just trust me. So there you go guys, 10 style mistakes that I, Parker York Smith, have made in my life and hope to not make again. Hope you guys enjoyed, if these were helpful. Let me know if you made any of these mistakes yourself down in the comments. Always love hearing about that stuff from fellow fashion lovers. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel. Go follow me on Instagram. Lots of good outfit ideas and style inspiration over there as well. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.